e-learning revolution has begun in Zamboanga City. For the lesson this day? Well, me too. I'm Teacher Ray, your teacher for today. Today, you will be learning about the different body structures that help animals to adapt and survive in their particular habitat. Before we all discuss further, let me tell you first the objective. Infer that animals have different body structures that help them adapt to water and land. Do all animals live in the same place? No, very good. Animals do not live in the same place. Where do you think these animals live? Very good. These animals live in land. Why do you think these animals only survive in land? Very good. Because these animals have body structures that help them to survive in land. What about these animals? Where do you think they live? Very good. These animals live in water. Why do you think these animals can only be found in water? Very good. Because these animals have body structures that help them to live in water. This time, we are going to have an activity. Look at the set of animals. What body structures do these animals have that enable them to live in land? Very good! Rabbit and cat are covered with hair or fur. They also have lungs for breathing and legs for moving. How many legs do these animals have? Very good! They have four legs. What body structures do they have that enable them to live on land? Very good! Chicken and bird are covered with feathers. They also have lungs for breathing and legs for moving. How many legs do they have? Very good! Most birds have only two legs. these animals below? What body structures do you think these animals have that enable them to live in water? Very good! Shark and clownfish have gills that help them to breathe in the underwater and pins to help them move. What about these animals? Very good! Octopus and jellyfish have tentacles that help them to move and swim underwater. Let us compare the different body structures of these animals. Rabbit and cat are covered with fur, have lungs for breathing and legs for moving. Chicken and bird are covered with feathers, have lungs for breathing and legs for moving. Shark and clownfish have gills for breathing and fins for moving. Octopus and jellyfish have tentacles for moving. Did you get all the correct answers? Very good! The place where animals live naturally is called habitat. 
Many animals live in water. These animals have body structure that help them survive and live in water. Animals that live in water are called aquatic animals. Aquatic animals have body structures that help them to adapt in water. Fish are covered with scales. Their scales are smooth and slimy. These scales are arranged overlapping from head to tail. Fish have gills for breathing in the underwater and fins for swimming. Some aquatic animals use their tentacles for swimming and moving in water. What are tentacles? Tentacles are long, flexible arms of some aquatic animals that are used for moving, grabbing things, and swimming. Squid, octopus, and jellyfish are examples of animals with tentacles. How do seahorses survive in the underwater? Very good. Seahorse has two eyes which has the ability to move in different directions. The long snout of a seahorse is an adaptation used for foraging for food. The fin is located along the midline of the seahorse back. This fin helps seahorse to swim. Seahorse has a tail fin called bay tail. Its tail has the ability to hold onto rocks or corals to anchor in one position. What body structure that helps stingrays survive in the underwater? Very good! Stingray has two eyes on the top surface of its head which allows to see prey moving above them. Its mouth is located on both sides of its body which allows stingrays to feed on creatures that live on the seafloor. Stingray breathe with the help of gills called spiracles, which are located on the side of its body. The fins on the side of stingray act like wings to help it swim. The tail is used to maneuver in water. Animals that live in land are called terrestrial animals. Terrestrial animals have body structures that help them to adapt on land. Some animals are covered with fur to keep them warm. What is a fur? A fur is a thick growth of hair that covers the skin of many animals. What body structures help these animals survive the icy cold weather? Polar bear and hare are covered with thick fur that protect them from too much cold. Some animals are covered with feathers. What are feathers? Feathers are soft, fringe plumes that cover the bodies of birds. Birds have wings. Their wings are covered with feathers that enable them to fly. Feathers protect birds from too much warm and cold weather. Remember, not all birds can fly. Penguin, duck, chicken, and ostrich are examples of birds that cannot fly. How do worms survive in their habitat? Very good. Worms have smooth skin for breathing. Worms have a streamlined body with no antennae, fins, arms, or legs. This streamlined shape helps the worms to adapt and live in a narrow burrows underground. Can you tell where the habitat of these animals is? Very good! The habitat of these animals is both in land and water. Let us identify why these animals can live both on land and in water. Crocodiles are covered with bony scales. When crocodiles are completely underwater, 
legs or ears are covered by small flaps of skin which can be closed to make their ears watertight. The nostrils can also be closed by special muscles and eyes have a third eyelid which gives them protection when diving. Crocodiles have powerful jaws and webbed toes. When it is cold, they rest on land which allow the sun to warm their body. When it is hot, they move into the water to make their body cool. Frogs are covered with smooth, warty, or folded skin. They have long back legs and web feet for jumping and swimming. Their eyes and nose are found on top of their head, so they can breathe and see when most of their bodies are underwater. Frogs can stay on land but need also to be in water so that their skin will not get dry and they will not die. Those are the different body structures that animals have which enable them to survive and adapt in their particular habitat. Do you get it now? Very good! Let us now have the summer. Think about it. The following are the different body structures of different animals that help them to survive and adapt in their particular habitat. Some aquatic animals are covered with scales and have gills for breathing underwater. Some aquatic animals have tentacles. Some terrestrial animals are covered with fur. Some terrestrial animals are covered with feathers. Some terrestrial animals have smooth skin. Most terrestrial animals have legs for walking, running, and jumping. Now, let us apply your understanding. Why do we need to take good care of the different habitat of animals? What is the importance of letting these animals be in their natural habitat? Let us check your understanding. Number one, which statement can be inferred from this set of pictures? Number A, animals have different body structures that help them adapt land. Letter B. Animals have the same body structures that help them adapt to land. Letter C. Animals can both live on land and in water. The correct answer is letter A. Animals have different body structures that help them adapt to land. Number two, which of the following animals can live both in land and water? Letter A, crocodile. Letter B, fish. Letter C, dog. The correct answer is letter A, crocodile. Number three, which statement can be inferred from this set of pictures? Letter A, these animals can survive in land. Letter B. These animals have different body structures that help them to adapt in water. Letter C. These animals have the same body structures that help them to adapt in water. The correct answer is letter B. These animals have different body structures that help them to adapt in water. Number four, which statement is true about this set of pictures? Letter A, these animals are covered with thick feathers to survive the icy cold weather. Letter B, these animals are covered with thick scales to survive the icy cold weather. Letter C, these animals are covered with thick fur to survive the icy cold weather. answer is letter C. These animals are covered with thick fur to survive the icy cold weather. Number five, what do we call the natural home of animals? Letter A, playground. Letter B, habitat. 
letter C, school. The correct answer is letter B, habitat. Number six, which statement can be inferred from this picture? Letter A, most fish are good swimmer underwater. Letter B, fish have gills for breathing underwater. Letter C, not all fish have gills and fins. The correct answer is letter B, fish have gills for breathing underwater. Number 7. Worms are example of animals with smooth skin which help them to plant. Letter A. Drink. Letter B. Breast. Letter C. Eat. The correct answer is letter B. Breathe. Number 8. These are long, flexible arms of some aquatic animals that are used for moving, swimming, and grabbing things. Letter A, fins. Letter B, legs. Letter C, tentacles. The correct answer is letter C, tentacles. Number 9. Stingray breathe with the help of gills called black, which are located on the side of its body. Letter A, spiracles. Letter B, wings. Letter C, fins. The correct answer is letter A, spiracles. Which statement is true about this set of pictures? Letter A. Not all birds can fly. Letter B. These animals are good at flying. Letter C. These animals can adapt and survive on land and in water. The correct answer is letter A. Not all birds can fly. Did you get all the correct answers? Very good. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you guys have learned something out of the discussion. Bye-bye.